All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my fourth Bully Scholarship Edition tutorial mod video thing, whatever. And in this video, um, this is actually recommended by a viewer. Um, his comment is going to be on the screen now. And I'm trying to work on a big project right now with, with Fallout 3, and then I want to remake another Red Dead 2 mod, top 5 mod. So it's really hard to cram in this video, but I'm going to do it anyways because... Um, this mod is a very interesting one for Bully, and it's the Ultimate Selector mod. Uh, this is a remake, a quote-unquote version 3, um, so I'm just going to go with this. But what you do is, in the link to the description, this is the Mediafire link, all you do is click download, and you're going to download it. As soon as it's downloaded, you're going to see right here it's a .zip, so you're going to have to extract it. I'm using 7-zip just because I personally like that a lot more, I think it's a lot easier, but just do whatever you have. Alright, so you have these two files right here, they're called scripts. So what you do is go to your Bully Scholarship Edition directory. To do that is you go on Steam, you right click Bully Scholarship Edition, hover over Manage, and then click Browse Local Files. And then you can see you have all these, all these folders. So make sure you have a scripts folder, alright? Now if you don't have a scripts folder, which you should have one, but if you don't, just right click New folder and then name it scripts uppercase s and everything else is lowercase after that and that's how you do it but you should have one um so all you want to do is drag um these two files and replace what's already there with these first of all though before you do that back these up okay please back them up just go to this pc go to data d just make a new folder call it bully script backup and just paste these relatively small files in there and now you can always uninstall the mod whenever you want to without re-downloading the whole game. But just replace the files, and then it should be downloaded already. Now let's go in Bully Scholarship Edition and actually test it out so I can show you what to do and how to use the mod. All right, so as you can see, it's uh, loading into the whole mod right now. All right, so to activate the mod, you... Um, so for controller, you click like any of the uh, arrow keys. It's a very, very weird mod. Um, all right, so I guess I accidentally <laughs> changed my character to this it's a fighting style let's use the authority i don't know how to i don't know how to fix this all right we are back i reload the save uh, i'm gonna be home set honest uh, this mod is very annoying to use compared to the super mod all right let's see how i go in the menu all right so model style so i'm using the d-pads for a controller right now Oh, wait, I did it. Wait, I did it. Okay. Oh, okay. I did that. I did that. Oh, okay. So, this is how you do it. So, with a controller, so to go down and up, you do right and left D-pad for a controller. To select something, you click down D-pad. And then if you want to confirm it, because you can confirm it to do a target, a all pads, or just your player, you click down T-pad once again. So for example, authority, I click down D-pad and then down D-pad again to confirm what I'm doing, which is very weird for something like this. So let me do Edgar. I don't know how to run. I'm going to be dead on this. Let's use a skateboard, I guess. So I don't, I don't know how to go back in the menu. It's not... The menu's not closing. Did I hold one of the buttons? So in the dot any, which I'm gonna have on the screen right now, it says what to do for all these things, but uh, some of them just do not work, so it says look back. Oh wait, oh I did it! Oh my god, wait, it does work. So let's do... Let's do model, right? So let's do fatty and summer mode. Oh yeah, look at me. I'm not Hopkins, I'm fatty. What else can I do? Man, <laughs> pegging this big slab, that's all. Oh, oh, I did it! I, <laughs> I killed him! Oh, the menu just closes automatically, okay. You can change the chapter, apparently, so if I do three, four, seems like it's not working. Oh, wait, six works. Oh, I think my game just crashed. Oh, no! My game did not crash! Oh, wait, oh, okay. So it doesn't seem like it has snow, but it has a decoration, which is, I think, good enough. Alright, so it's doing the same thing again. So it just, it freezes sometimes. Um, understandable. Oh, wait, oh, wait, uh, okay, weapon. Banana. Me. So now I got a banana. Pet. So I can spawn a pet in, right? Enemies. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, tussle up. Tussle up or muscle up. Oh my god. Alright, well that's basically any, everything on the mod anyways. Um, sorry if this video was long. I know it was long, but I had to learn how to use the mod in the time of this video. I had to learn how to showcase it right. And it honestly, I'm gonna say right now, it is a good mod. Please back up your scripts if you use this. Uninstall this mod without a backup would mean that you have to completely reinstall the whole game. And of course, no one really wants to do that. Um, the controls are a little weird in my opinion. I think the controls should be PC only. Um, just so I can use a controller comfortably and use a, you know, computer. Because I know the Super Power Mod or the Powers Mod or whatever, Super Menu, whatever it's called, has kind of the same system. But, I mean, it is a little better in my opinion, but it's sort of the same system. But that's this mod. Um, thank you to the viewer who suggested this. I hope that I showcased everything correctly. And uh, thank you for watching the video, and goodbye.